Welcome back to part three of our Halloween 2020 decorating series. Today we're going to be making some apple cider and decorating the living room. And as always, stay tuned to the end for a candlelight tour. So I had some apples today that were not looking so hot and I thought, what a great time to try some apple cider. to wash and cut up eight apples. I think the recipe calls for nine, but eight should be fine. And it's just a variety. So it's like I have a mix of honey, crisp, and gala, but you can use any assortment of apples that you prefer. So I'm just gonna get all the stickers off of these and wash them up. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and wash up one navel orange. sister found on Pinterest and shared with me and we've both been making it ever since and it's delicious and um, you put it in a crock pot it cooks all day long your house smells wonderful like fall and then at the end of the night you get to sit down and watch a movie and have a hot cup of apple cider so there's nothing better than that so now I'm just going to cut up the apples into big chunks, I'm gonna say fourths. And for the bigger apples, I might cut those down a little bit more. So maybe in half. And then you just drop them in a crock pot, seeds, stem and all. it's time to add our spices. So it calls for three um, whole cinnamon sticks, one whole nutmeg, and I have a difficulty, I have difficulty finding nutmeg in my grocery store, so all I have is ground nutmeg, so I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. We're going to add two teaspoons of whole cloves, Like I said, you won't have to worry about getting choked on any of this because we're gonna mush it all up and then drain it all out. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of allspice, whole allspice, okay, I got ground. And then we're just going to add our water, 12 to 16 cups of water. has been cooking all day. We only have about an hour left. We're going to take the lid off and use a metal potato masher just to um, mash up all the apples and the spices and the orange and it will just mull everything together and it will give it a very creamy, um, thicker, that cider texture that we're looking for. <music> Joe to get home because I have some um, wallpaper that should be in the mail from Amazon and he's going to stop and pick up on his way home and I have a lot of projects in order to decorate the kitchen for Halloween which we're both excited to do this afternoon. A lot of my decorations in the kitchen require getting up on a step stool and I don't like to get on a step stool since I'm five months pregnant unless Joe's home. 
just for safety. Plus he will be very helpful. He's taller than I am so he can put the the um, crow silhouettes or the raven silhouettes on the ceiling for me. So tonight should be fun. I have some leftover soup I made this weekend so we can heat up some soup and drink some apple cider and put on a scary movie and decorate the kitchen for Halloween. So now that it's all mashed up, we're gonna put the lid back on and let it cook for another hour. So now we're just going to take the apple cider that's been cooking all day and we're gonna dip out all the mixture and run it through a strainer. And then what will be left will be delicious cider. back into it and put it on warm and you can um, drink on it all day long or if it's later on in the afternoon like it is now I just wait and let it cool and then I put it in a um, drink dispenser with a lid and put it in the refrigerator and then I'll heat up a glass all throughout the week it lasts several days in the refrigerator and I always like to go ahead and enjoy a glass while it is still hot and fresh Now on to decorating. Here are some before shots of the living room. And as always, my two favorite little helpers. If you're thinking my home looks pretty bare, you would be correct. I decorate for every season, so I don't have a lot of everyday home decor like picture frames and candlesticks. You'll also see later on in the video, we decide to bring the love seat back into the living room and we replace these chairs with rockers that we got for the baby. just woke up and it is such a beautiful chilly like fall Saturday morning so I'm getting ready to start decorating the living room and the kitchen which are the last two big rooms to decorate uh, for Halloween but I'm just so excited this morning that I think I'm gonna open the windows and let some of that uh, fall air that chilly fall air into the house and I'm gonna heat up some of that apple cider that I made earlier in the week um, and just really get in the fall spirit. And I think it will put me in the mood to decorate even more. the house I used this black feathered garland and wreaths and I got that a couple years ago at, at home. I don't think they still sell it but I'll link it below if I can find something similar.
tip if your dogs are like mine and like to use your couch as a dog bed. When you put the throw pillows in front of the bigger pillows, it seems to make them a little bit sturdier so they hold their shape and your dogs can still get up there and take a nap. One of my favorite pieces of Halloween decor are these Edgar Allan Poe letters that I printed on regular printer paper, rolled up and put under this glass cloche from Hobby Lobby. And to go with that, I got a big black feather and a small glass jar to give the illusion of an old antique feather pen. For a couple of years, the feather sat in the glass jar and it just looked kind of empty. But this year, my sister got me into these wax seals that you can seal envelopes with. And I decided to order a lot of black wax so I could fill the bottom of the jar. And I feel like it gives the appearance of old dried up ink. I always like to incorporate sentimental pieces into my home decor. For Halloween, I felt like there was nothing more perfect than this old family portrait of my great-grandparents and all of their children. That little boy to the far left is my Papa Sonny. It took me a while to find decor for my coffee table that would look appealing from all sides, but I think this does the trick. I like to keep the same overall theme and just add to my home decor over the years. A couple years ago at Big Lots, we found this guy and he's just the coolest. Nothing but a metal frame and a black cloak. When you put a lantern in his hand, it looks like he's coming for you. Especially in the middle of the night, when you forget you've put him out there and you get up for a drink of water. When you add an additional sofa, you have to add additional pillows. That required a trip to Marshalls. I prefer to get all of the same pillows in two or three colors or patterns, but sometimes when you buy them years apart, it's difficult to find the exact same one. So as long as it's the same color scheme, I think it works. We decided to go ahead and purchase two matching gliders and ottomans. This way, when the baby comes, we can keep one in the living room and put another in the nursery. 